Okay, here you go. We are here at Harbor Freight, and I saw now the trailer is a huge discount. It's just 412 bucks. Perfect, thank you very much. In my opinion, when the trailer is uh, packed, uh, it takes up a uh, very small space and that's why you can load it in any type of car, even uh, in a small sedan. I'm very lucky today, I find a swing away trailer jack with a big discount from 35 to 28 bucks. Good. I'm gonna take some uh, rope rings. It's just eight bucks, four pieces. And be careful with that envelope, don't lose it, because inside is the title of the trailer. And with that document and with the receipt, we will go to the DMV to register the trailer. One more thing, if you are going to buy that trailer from store, before to go, call the store and check the availability of the product, because uh, sometimes uh, on website can uh, show that they have that product in stock but if you are calling them and ask them if they have that trailer in store they're gonna tell you we have just one we have just one uh, trailer who is displayed is not available to buy it so call the store before to go in okay and here at uh, license auto licensing to register the trailer and take the license plate let's see how much is it was 11975. How much is 119? 119 Here's your set. There's your receipt. Okay. Here's your plate. Title's gonna come in the mail. Here's this address, and that's okay. stay eight weeks. Okay. You don't see it by week 10. Come back in. We okay. can replace it. And now we have a license plate uh, regarding the insurance. I'm paying to American family around 18 bucks monthly or 19 bucks, something like that. Okay, here is my setup. I put a blanket, do not uh, scratch the parts of the trailer. And um, I'm gonna start to open the boxes to take out all the parts. Here I have all the tools what I'm gonna use it. I have a compact drill, a drive socket set, and a wrench set. And I put the table to put all the parts, you know, all the screw on the table. All you have to know is the trailer has uh, two parts. Uh, the trailer is 4 by 8 and has two parts. Uh, uh, the rear part, uh, which is a square, 4 by 4, and the front square, uh, which is 4 by 4. And of course, the, that triangle is coming in the front of the trailer. Also, if you check here, we have some uh, stickers to indicate which is the rear left side, the front left rail, the front right rail, and the rear right rail. That's also very easy to figure out where it's coming, is the front side, because it has that uh, part who's coming like that. And one more thing. Make sure the side, left and the right side, uh, here we have some uh, holes and we that holes have to come in the middle. If you check 
on the front or of or on the rear there are no holes okay so here is coming the that hinge who help you to fold the trailer and the other side the same make sure you have that holes here on the center of the trailer not here and not here and the rails are coming between the side they are the same one two three four rails are the same I put all the rails in the right position uh, that bracket it's are in the angle how the triangle is supposed to come and also you know it's very easy to figure out that part is coming outside actually in front of the trailer here the middle one uh, it's coming to the front trailer uh, you know if if you are uh, driving straight, the water do not come inside here in the hole. <clears throat> okay, and here on the middle, uh, that rails supposed to come front by front, side by side. You know, here the middle one, like on the middle from the front. Okay, and of course the rear like that one more important thing is to put all the screw from outside to inside so remember that all the screw are coming from outside to inside outside to inside Now, I put a wood, a piece of food here, so don't scratch that rails. So, now, that one, is, where is the cut in the angle? It's uh, behind the trailer. And that one, it's coming with that cut in the angle here. Use that bolt. Then I put this part uh, here and here. Uh, the small side. It's coming on the trailer, so if you see here, it's a long side and a small side. So the small side is coming on the trailer, and for here where it's supposed to uh, to use the bolt to catch three pieces of metal, one, two, three, we're gonna use the long bolt. You're gonna find in all the bolts there are three long so you're gonna use just two bolts and we're gonna put here a long bolt here a long a short bolt and here a short bolt too so as I said the long one is coming here that way I didn't tie the screw uh, before to make sure everything is within the right position. Here the same. The long one. When it's three pieces of metal. One, two, three. Now, just keep you know, in your mind, we work now on that side, which is under the trailer. So, 
that rails, that uh, brackets, it's coming from under the trailer. So we're gonna put this small piece of metal here under the table, under the trailer. That one supposed to come something like that. You see? Here we're gonna put some bolts. And here, when we flip it, we're gonna put bolt two on each side. If you want to build that trailer, Portable, you have to mount that uh, hinge it's coming like that here you see and it's coming like that okay but me i gonna build that trailer unfoldable so i don't gonna put that hinge and I'm gonna put that uh, solid uh, uh, spring hanger here. Now, here we have a square hole, and the thing here on the side we have a square hole, so we're gonna use that square bolt. And here, because we have to catch three pieces of uh, rails, three metal, uh, three metals, we're gonna use the uh, long bolt. So not the not the short bolt. You see, we're gonna use that on the long bolt. And the other side the same. So you see, score, uh, square uh, hole, square hole, square bolt. bolt and a short bolt so the long bolt the long one is coming here and the short one here the frame it's almost done and supposed to look like that And now I have to tie the bolts, but before to tie the bolts, I'm gonna use that square to make sure all the corner has 90 degrees. The angle of the corners are at 90 degrees. Okay. Now to tie the bolts, I'm gonna use uh, a compact drill with a 17 millimeter uh, socket and the same here, uh, wrench with a 17 millimeter, 17 millimeter. So remember, it's very important to leave all the screw, all the bolts and screw or loose to make sure we put everything in a good shape and all the parts in a good position and after the, the, the frame it's 
all done, you have to tight the screw. It's very important. Because it make, you can make uh, some mistakes and, uh, you know, it's very hard to... Uh, Now it's time to fix the spring leaf. That part is come behind the trailer, and here where we have where we have the hole is coming the front of the trailer. Now it's time to fix the axle. So the axle has uh, here a hole and here has a nipple. And that nipple is supposed to come in that hole. Okay, so as I said, that hole has to come here. That nipple. Now, using that U bolt and that plate. Okay, now it's time to put to install the wheels using a screwdriver. I'm gonna pop out this cover. Now I have to remove the bolt here. has enough grease inside Now we have to put first time the, uh, the that ring and after that we have to put the castle nut. The wheel is not spinning. We release now and it's perfect. Now this like this okay when you install the wheels it's Good to take a picture of the bearings of the wheels if you have to replace it to know the par number. Okay, perfect. 
right now. So the get the cover back. That's it. Perfect. Now, let's put the other wheels. Okay. The same. We pop out the, that cover. Put that here. Now, we put the washer, the castle nut. Now we tie the castle nut until the wheels is not spinning. Okay, so it's not spinning anymore. And now we have the two release. Perfect. Now we have to put that pin. very hard to install behind the wheels. Okay, that's perfect. Now, we put the, that cup, the small wood, and that's it. And now, it's time to roll over the trailer. Okay. And now it's time to install the coupler using that two long bolts. Like it. It's time to install the swing away jack. And that's it. Now I have to paint the floor to prevent uh, the water damage and weather condition. Uh, so I finished the first side and now I'm gonna wait 30 minutes or one hour to paint the other side. Now it's time to mount the lights and to wire the trailer. It's a very easy process and I'll show you why. Um, here you have a sign who told you curb side, so that's supposed to go on the left side, on the curb side, and uh, on that one we have a road side who tell you to mount on the road side. That means on the right side. Also, you have here a sign who tell you to mount up, not down. Also, the wire is very easy; they are colored. Uh, you just have to match the colors. I'll show you right now. Uh, before to mount the lights, uh, remember the white one is the ground. 
So you supposed to make a hole in the frame and or to mount it with a screw. But I'm gonna use paper sand to scratch a little bit here the paint and I'm gonna use that hole to fix the ground to do not make a new hole in the frame. Okay, something like that. Now, put this, the ground. The same here. Okay. Here, before to mount that, the left uh, light, you can also attach the license plate number as you. Uh, if you see here, also you have the light for the play number. So, like that. Now, before to uh, make the final adjustment, to before to tie the wire to the frame, I want to make sure uh, everything is work fine. And for that, I gonna use my forerunner to check if the lights and everything it work. Now, if you see here, the ground is too short and I'm using uh, that piece of wire for the, for the extension, for the connection, because I don't use that part to make that wire uh, longer. the same now we have to put the ground on the frame i don't want to as i said i don't want to make new holes and new and i want to try to the same to using uh, to unscrew the bolt and uh, to put the ground on the frame Now let's check if if the lights work. I'm lucky because I record that process and I can check by myself if the lights work. Now we have to tighten the wire temporary. So not too strong. You see brown, brown. As I said, you can go wrong. I put just like that. Okay. 
Now let me show you the whole circuit of electrical wire. So I coming from here, from the front. You can also use each hole you want. You have a lot of options. I use it from here because that wire is coming through here and I gonna tie something like that. And that's why I use that hole from here. You can use that hole too. Here. Now, here, if you don't, if you made, if you build that trailer foldable, you don't gonna put here any screw. But my trailer is fixed, so I think it's much safe to keep that uh, bolt here. And I use that hole on the middle of the trailer here, through here, here, and now. Here is the final. Now from the right side the same. It's coming here, here. Now it's coming here. Uh, don't forget uh, here it's coming the uh, the side lights. So keep that wire next to that hole. Okay. So here, here. And that's the final. Also, I use that hole because it's a little bit far away from the tire. You know, if the tire has come hot, it's, I think it's much better to the wire to not be very close to the tire. So yeah, that's my setup. Now for the final connection, uh, you can use that type of connection for the wires. But me, I don't like how it looks, so I'm using the electrical tape. We have here six clips. What I'm gonna use it to tie the the wires to the frame. Three on the side and three on the other side. Also, I'm gonna use for uh, much uh, for a good result uh, some uh, ties. And also here we have some connection for the for the side lighting. You can use a heating gun, it's not necessary, but for a good result, yeah, you can use a heating gun. That's it. Now, let's put a tie here. To secure the wires from here. We'll leave some space. And that's it. Same here. Now we can put a clip here. The 
other one here. One here. On the other side. And that's it. Let's put some ties now. Now for side lights. You have to come with the wire to the middle hole. Now I put a washer here on the screw. Now on the other side, the same, I put a washer here. Another washer here. Okay. Okay. The side the work, the side light is mount. Now for the connection. White is the it's ground, so we have to mount on the frame. The same, I'm not gonna make another hole. I'm trying to fix it here. And brown is coming on the, the brown wire. You can use also tape if you want. Okay. Now Now, now I have to unscrew that bolt. Okay. Now I can see the metal. Okay, perfect. Now for the uh, to connect the the brown wire, I have to split here the wires. Okay, and we can use that type of fast um, fast connection, which is coming in the package with the trailer. Okay, it's perfect now. Now, we are coming with the brown wire from the light. Let's put in position. Okay, looks perfect. Okay. 
and when you push that metal the connection is done also you have a clip here and that's the final connection for the side light for the other side you have to make the same process Now I check one more time if all the lights are working. That works. Also the side lights is working. Let's put some electrical tape. One more thing, be careful when you tight the screw. That screw, don't tight them too strong too much because you can broke the the plastic frame Let's put some ties here. Now to connect the to make the final connection for the ground to connect the ground to the frame maybe it's a good option to make a hole here under the frame and that's it Here. And that's it. I have to cut the all the tight. Now it's time to install the deck. For that I have to remove all the upper screw. Uh, because I remove the upper screw, if you see, the trailer don't has now a good alignment, you know. Look here. So for this one, uh, I'll show you what I have to do now. You see, the hole don't has a good alignment.
Now all the holes are, are again in the position. to keep the deck in position when you mark the sign. Uh, you can use a tools like that, but because I have just one, actually I'm supposed to have three or four, but I find just one, I'm gonna use some back tape. Mark the sign for the holes, you can use A pen if you cut it you see very easy you know to go on the frame to make the sign but for me because I paint the deck and I'm not sure if I can see the marks I'm gonna use a screw to scratch a little bit you know to make sure everything it's it's visible let me show you how I do the sign for for the holes like that. You see that that's why I cut the the pen. Actually, I found I found another way using that marker and I put here some paint I hope to don't do too much mess also you can use a corrector you know the old style that one with the brush you have a lot of option Easy job. Look how nice are the marks. Now we have to make the hole. Now I'm gonna use that type of bolt. If you see here, has a flat surface. Uh, the problem is I, I bought a box of that bolt and I found inside just 26 bolts and they are 38 holes if i have to put in all the holes bolts i don't have enough bolts so maybe i'm gonna put just four 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 bolts yeah
Now, what I want to do is to put the two tight uh, corners and after that I'm trying I'm trying to turn over the trailer to make the job easy. Okay, much easier now. And this is how the trailer looks with the bolts tied. Actually, I forgot here to put a bolt. Okay, now we have to make the frame. I'm here at Home Depot. I just bought uh, the wood for side rails. Um, I bought uh, six pieces of oh, two by six by ten foot long, three pieces two by six by eight foot long, and two by four by eight foot long. And now it's time to install the side panels, the front and the rear panel, using that uh, state packet. Uh, but before to do that. I want to install that bracket on the side, you know, these brackets are for foldable trailer, you know, uh, to mount here the wheels, if you, when you're moving around, when you, when the trailer is foldable and you want to moving around, but as you know, I built that trailer unfoldable, but anyway, I'm going to install that bracket, you know, for don't lose it and why not, you have more option when you load your stuff uh, you have more options to add the straps you know do you have more holes where you can put your straps so yeah let's uh, add the, that bracket and after that we have to start with the side panel also i want to add uh, to change that temporary just a quick release uh, bolt you know this is for foldable trailer with uh, that uh, bolt i'm thinking it's more powerful and more secure you know it's much safe to add a bolt okay now here i want also to replace that uh, easy quick that bolt uh, and to add a permanent bolt that is for foldable trailer but you know i built an unfoldable trailer and i think it's much safe if you have a bolt like that here okay let's start to install that state packet uh, but I don't gonna tight up too strong because I just want to install, you know, temporary to put 
the pillar on position and I'm gonna tie it up uh, very strong after I install the, the pillars. Be careful when you install that stake packet. Don't cut the wires, you know. Now, that's the panel side, um, that's the pillar, uh, here I make the side, uh, here is the deck level, when the pillar is in position, so I have to cut 8 pieces of pillars by 24 and a half inch, but let's cut uh, 8 piece of pillars by 25 inch just in case I think between between side rails one and a half inch it's enough actually I left uh, one two by four, four space between side rails so yeah let's cut eight pillars by 25 inch Now, I, I want to deal that pillars to put that bolt inside. Now, it's time to start to cut the front and the end side rails. Uh, if you see here, the plywood has four feet or 48 inch. But the problem is the frame of the trailer is not four feet, 48 inch. Here is an extra, like a half inch or a quarter of inch. So yeah, we have to cut the front and the end side rails like 48 inch and uh, a quarter or a half. Let's cut it on 48 inch and a half. Now, for the side rails, I have to cut like 95 inch or 
you have other option you can fix it here to put the screw here screw here and there to put on the position and to cut after you know but you know something i give you an advice an advice um, make your your own measurement you know because something can go wrong and you know it's possible to don't match you know my measurement with your measurement that's why i say it's much better to do your own measurement or other option is to put temporary here all together i mark the one two three and that's it okay, let's cut them Here, if you see, the plywood is not perfect straight, you know, it's coming like that. And I put the back side rails temporarily, the same I put them on 2 by 4 just to make sure, you know, it's coming straight before to catch the side rails on the on pillars okay and here on the back the side rails it's come inside here in the front it's outside but here you know I want the the end rails the side rails at the end here I want to be removable it's like a gate, you know, I want to remove it. So I'm going to put here a locker and that's why I put inside, you know. The left side rails is done. Here I put just two screw, one here, one here, but I'm gonna double all of them, like here. One, two, I'm gonna put one more here, one more here. Also, here I'm gonna put two screw, I put just one for now. I think it's perfect. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That are the screw that I'm using. I know it's drywall screw, but that screw I find in the house and make sure it's three inch, you know, to catch both of the wood, you know, Now I'm gonna install the rear, the back side panel, 
but it's gonna be just temporary because I want to be removable, you know. Now, let's cut that excess of the wood. Now it's time to install that fenders, but you know, the factory says to install, you know, to put that bracket here, and here it's two holes, and I have to remove the, the wheels, but I have another idea, because I saw it's not very strong, you know, if I gonna install the fenders on with that bracket. What I gonna do, I gonna make some holes here, here, here and here. I, I'm, I'm gonna install on the wood, like that, you know, it's more powerful, it's more strong. Yeah, let me show you. I did that holes and I'm gonna install the fender on the wood. Hmm, now here, here I like a little bit high, you know. Like How you like it? No? Look here. Okay, It's good. 250 pounds. <laughs> I think I'm gonna remove that post. Because you now you can stand or sit on the fender. No, I found them in the garage for brackets, and I think I'm gonna buy two extra, two another two brackets tomorrow. Now, I want to check one more time if that nuts are tight enough. Let's check the air pressure. Should be 38. Oh, okay, just 26. 
so very PSI should be fine. I'm almost done, but tomorrow I want to buy two lockers for here. As I said, uh, the rear side I want to be re removable. Also, tomorrow I'm gonna buy two extra brackets for here and there. And also, I want to buy a toolbox for from Harbor Freight. Also, it's not too expensive. It's 150 bucks. 